All right, so welcome um, and hello to my presentation. Today, uh, I want to tell you something about Lavu. I'm Benjamin, and uh, I'm the, one of the founders and the CEO of the company. Today, I will talk about three main parts. The first of all is what we do at Lavu. The second is about our business model. And in the third part, I'm talking about the theme of the company today. And uh, this is uh, competition and the market where we, uh, where we are in. So first of all, what is Lavu? Lavu is all about location. And it's a local discovery network app to find like-minded people nearby. Our unique features uh, offers people to connect through, uh, through their hobbies, through their interests. So it's, it's much more about just having a nice profile picture. It's even more you meet the people behind their profiles. And we are hyper-local. So what we do is we offer radar where you can see which people are around you in this very same moment. In a few short words, to find people like you wherever you are. So here are some, some points about our company history. We started in 2012, where we found the company and released the app in the German-speaking countries. And in 2013, we started with the internationalization. Today, and this is just a couple of weeks ago, we, um, we had our 40th million user and uh, we are now in uh, 16 countries, so mainly we are, uh, we are, we are in Western Europe and uh, we are in Brazil. We just launched two months ago in the Nordic countries, in the Benelux and Poland, so uh, we, are, we are here all in Western Europe. And we are market leader in five countries, and that's our goal that from our position of the, of the company and of our product, it's young, our people are, our users are 18 to 35 mainly, and um, we are more about connecting people in the reality, it's not about hook up like in other apps. So with this 40 million users, we are the leading local discovery network in Western Europe. The second part is okay, we have Lots of users on the platform. We offer different apps with uh, iOS, Android mainly. Um, so how do we monetize? And this is working mainly with three different parts which we offer in the company. The first one are single purchases. So it's working a little bit like a, a, a freemium game. Uh, you have the ability to buy credit packages and getting uh, some more advantage when you're using the app. This is good thing because most of the, uh, of the other apps in our, in our area offering just subscription services, which you can only scale until a specific point. But single purchases, you can, you know, you can buy 1,000 credits, you can just buy 300 credits, just what the user wants. But second of all, we have a hybrid model. We also offer a subscription service, which we call VIP. Uh, when you use that, you have like a lot of features which you can use and which you only have in the VIP section. Third of all, and this is actually one of our main growth factors, uh, we are offering uh, advertising on our platform, so you can access to more than 40 million users uh, over native advertising inside of the app. So we are not offering like standard banners or um, or like, like email newsletter, so we, we really integrate it natively, which you can use as an advertiser and which is now at the moment a third of our revenues of the company, uh, and it's really fast growing. So with these uh, three sources of revenue, uh, we are top grossing app in over 10 countries. So it's mainly Western Europe, it's Brazil, and uh, we are even gross further of that. Our current run rate of the company is 40 million euro. I think that's missing the, the million here, but <laughs> actually it's 40 million euro, not 40 euro. <laughs> All right, so 
We started our company three and a half years ago. Um, we have now more than 170 employees working uh, in two offices. We're based in Berlin and in Dresden. And um, yeah, and our, our next steps. Um, I will tell you when I come to the theme of the company, we were asked to talk about competition and talk about how we see the market and where it's going. And if you would ask me like a couple of years ago, um, there was, you know, players like Parship or Leader Partner or, or Meetic were doing a lot of advertising in TV, or advertising in other channels, which uh, results in very low margin business. Because the problem in, in get to known apps is mainly that people use it for a while uh, and then later on, you know, they, they deinstall it and might, they might come back or not. So this was a couple of years ago. But now it's changed because everything goes to mobile and people started spreading it. One of our main KPIs is always how many organic traffic we have. So how many recommendations our users spread to the world. And at the moment, it's more than 80% of our users are not coming through uh, advertising activities. They are coming through word of mouth or through App Store effects. And if you look on the numbers, on, on the users, we, we're using get to known apps for people between 18 to 35. You will see that there are a lot of players, really a lot. But if you look on the, on the top five of it, they are owning more than 80% of the market. And this is uh, actually how you see the competitors landscape. Um, so you have Tinder, of course, we're uh, based in the US, you have plenty of fish in the English speaking countries. But do you, you hear it here? Uh, we are uh, overall, and we uh, as market leader in Western Europe, Momo is only China. And with that, you have like 80% of the market is growing month on month, like 10 to 20%. And then there's a new thing that, that um, they're coming a lot of apps, you know, who, who are there for special interest, um, you might hear about, uh, where we see, okay, like you have these this bigger players who are owning the market, which is very difficult to disrupt because you need a very critical mass, a high critical mass to, um, to find the right people nearby. You know, the critical mass for the mar marketplace is even much more because it's all about your location and the people who are around there. So what we did um, in the last couple of months and also as outlook of our company, we built a platform we call it Daytech. So what it means is uh, we have a very strong brand in 16 countries um, and we built our app to give, to give the ability to use even more uh, brands or, or platforms on that. So we released last year a new app, it's called Vu, um, which brings this feature first time on this platform. In the future, we can use the platform to bring more and more um, uh, special interest apps on that. So, yeah, that's a short overview about our business. Um, thank you very much.